Hey guys, so I made this video a little while ago before the AirPods version 2 and the Jaybird X4 and Terra came out. However, these headphones are largely unchanged and who they're good for hasn't changed either. So that's why I decided to still release this video. Now if you want to check out some truly wireless headphones from Jaybird as well as some other recommendations, all that will be linked in the description below. Otherwise, let's get to it. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chad from Better Life Reviews. Today we're doing a review and comparison of two of the most popular headphones available today. That is the Apple AirPods and the Jaybird X3s. Now we're going to cover the normal stuff like cost, call quality, and music quality. More specifically, we're going to discuss who are these headphones best for, how do they compare in terms of fitness use, and are the AirPods really any good for non-Apple devices. We do have a lot to cover, so let's get into it. So being that I've been a long-time Android user, and that I currently have a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, and that I've tried some true wireless headphones in the past that didn't have the greatest connectivity, the Apple AirPods really appealed to me. But can you really use these with non-Apple devices? Well, in short, the answer is yes, and we're gonna talk about that more. Now, if you are an Apple user, don't turn away yet. I'm gonna cover a lot of things that are really important for you as well, but that will be a focus of this review. So if you're not specifically an Apple junkie, why would the AirPods be appealing? Well, they're true wireless headphones, they come in this small case that recharges them. You just take them out, pop them in your ears, they turn on and you use them. You put them back in, they're charging again, and it's just a very simple and easy to use package. It's very transportable. So that's really why they appealed to me. Now in terms of pairing these up to an Apple device, they have something called the W1 chip that makes it very, very easy. You simply hold the case near your phone, flip it open, maybe push the button here in the back, and there you go, you're paired. And they'll actually sync it across all of your devices in your iCloud. Now when it comes to pairing with a non-Apple device, it's not really that difficult. It's just simply normal Bluetooth pairing. You have to just open up the case, go to Bluetooth settings in your phone, make sure the Bluetooth is turned on, hold this white button in the back end until you get a white flashing light on top of the AirPods. And then you're gonna look for AirPods to appear in your list of Bluetooth devices. You'll just select the AirPods and there you're paired. So it's not quite as smooth and easy as it is with the Apple devices, but I really didn't find it to be a problem and it wouldn't stop me from buying these. So let's talk about price. The Apple AirPods retail for $160 and the Jaybird X3s retail for $130. Now it's already a pretty good price, but you can actually find these even closer to $100. And I'll put some links down in the description below of the best available prices that I can find on the Jaybird X3s. Now the AirPods, like most Apple products, typically don't go on sale that much, but I will also link this down below in any sales that I can find on the Apple AirPods. Now when it comes to price alone, the Jaybird X3s win, but let's move on. So how do these two compare in terms of sound? Well, to keep it simple, the Apple AirPods are gonna be better for the casual listener, and the Jaybird X3 is gonna be better for the audio enthusiast or someone who's really into the music. So the AirPods, they sound good enough, I think, for most people. They sound Balance, they have a nice authentic sound and they're gonna get loud enough for most people. However, these don't have, you know, audiophile quite quality sound. And also the sound isolation is not that good. Um, now this could be a good thing or a bad thing depending upon what it is that you want. So you can see here, it's just a plastic piece. You pop this in your ear and I can still hear the sound around me quite well. So that could be a good thing if you're gonna wear these for very casual use, you're gonna wear them in, you know, working environment where you take them in to come out. If you're gonna wear them on a train, you're gonna wear them downtown walking around, or you know when you're around friends, something like that. And you want that convenient to be able to hear things that are around you. However, you're not gonna get as good a sound isolation, you're not gonna be as immersed into the music. When it comes to the Jaybird X3s, they have a much better you know, overall sound quality, and also they have the ability to customize them. So they come with silicone tips and also with compressible foam tips. And these tips can be compressed and then allowed to expand into the ear canal and it's gonna give really excellent sound isolation. So if you're gonna go into a workout and you're gonna really hit it hard and you just wanna be like isolated from everyone else, you don't wanna deal with distractions, you just wanna hear the music really well, then definitely the X3s are gonna be better in that regard. They also get a lot louder, maybe too loud sometimes, so be careful of that. Um, but they are gonna be much better in terms of having a very good sound, they have heavier bass, they have, I think, better overall um, sound stage and separation of the audio and overall they're just gonna be superior. And you can adjust that sound as well. The Jaybird My Sound app, you can go in there and you know alter the firmware of these headphones to any different variety that you want. It can be easily changed and adjusted to your listening style, what you're feeling that day, 
or what you dislike in general. So as far as sound quality goes, the Jaybird X3s are definitely superior, but once again, the Apple AirPods win when it comes to convenience. So what about Bluetooth range and stability? Well, the Apple AirPods, as we discussed, have this thing called the W1 chip, which is really supposed to improve that. Also, how they're made, they send signals to both of the EarPods, which is a really revolutionary thing, and I want to really point that out. So, with other true wireless headphones that I've tried, and pretty much everyone I've seen reviews of, the problem is that the phone will pass a signal to the one EarPod, which is like the primary one, and then it has to pass from there to the secondary one. And a lot of times that connection will get cut off, and that can be really annoying. So, if you're in a gym and you, you know, cup your ear, do some sit-ups, or you just you know, have to pass that signal through your body to the phone, a lot of times that connection will cut out and that can be super annoying. With the AirPods, I did not have that problem even once, so they definitely are superior in terms of that. Now, when it comes to Bluetooth range, I took my phone, which is a Galaxy S8 Plus, out into just a field and set my camera up, and I just walked you know, straight direction, really no distractions or anything else in the way. And these only got, the AirPods only got about 30 to 40 feet of range, which kind of surprised me. Now, if you have an Apple device, they should do much better. They should do around 100 feet of range. But with my Galaxy, it did not do that well. So I was kind of surprised about that. I started cutting out around 30, 35 feet, 40 feet, it cut out completely. And not only that, but when I came back into range, the headphones didn't reconnect and start playing again. I actually had to go into my phone, turn off the connection, and restart the Bluetooth connection to the AirPods, and then I could start playing music again. So... Bluetooth range for these, at least with an Android device, is not really that special. Same thing with the Jaybird X3s, you know, standard Bluetooth range is around 33 feet, they say. Um, so 35 feet or so, I walked out into the middle of the field as well with these, and the Jaybird X3s also cut, in, cut out around 35 feet. Now these did do a better job of resuming when I came back into range, they would either automatically resume playing, or I could simply hit play on the headphones and they would start playing music again. So actually with an Android phone, I would say that I prefer the Bluetooth connection of the Jaybird X3s, but if you have you know, an iPhone, probably you're gonna get better results from the AirPods. So what about controls for these two? Well, obviously they're very different. The AirPods are a truly wireless headphone and they don't have any physical controls on these. So there is a double tap feature, or also you can use Siri to control them. When it comes to the Jaybirds, they have a physical inline control that you can use to control the headphones. So they are very different in that regard. Now, the AirPods do have a lot of features you can use with iPhones that are kind of unique that you can't really use with Android phones. However, I do have a hack for you guys in a way that you can use some of the features that you typically would use with an iPhone or on the Android phone. I actually made a separate video about that, so I'm gonna link that up above and down below in the description as well. Definitely check that out if you'd like to get some expanded use out of the AirPods on an Android device. So some of those things would be that you can take them in and out of your ear. They have like a proximity sensor and that will start and stop the music. So it's something normally you wouldn't get with an Android phone, but if you do this little hack, you can get that. Also, you can get the ability to monitor the battery level of the EarPod and, and sometimes they're together or individually, or also the battery level of the case as well. So that will come standard on an iPhone, but you can also get the ability to use that on the Android phone as well. Now what you can't really do on an Android phone is change the double tap feature. So on an Android phone, you can actually put them in your ear, double tap the outside, and it will start and stop music. So that's pretty cool. But what you can't do is change the feature of that double tap. So on an iPhone, you can go into your phone in the settings for the AirPods, and you can change the setting of what a double tap does. So you can set that to activate Siri. You can set it to pause or play a track, which is kind of silly because you already have that ability when you take them in and out of your ears. You can set it to go to the next track, to go to the previous track, or to turn off audio content. So you could set, for instance, your left ear pod to activate Siri and your right one to skip to the next track. And you can also control, of course, your ear pod, you know, the volume and that kind of stuff using Siri voice commands. Although talking to your phone with people around you is kind of a silly thing to do, but you can do that. Also, you can use an Apple Watch if you have one as well to control the AirPods through your Apple Watch and that probably be your preferred device if you already had the Apple Watch. Now when it comes to the Jaybirds, actually because they have that MySound app, they have some features that you wouldn't normally see on an Android pair of earphones, which is pretty cool. So they actually do have the ability to monitor the battery status and when you turn them on, it will actually announce to you what the battery status is of the earphones. And you can also see that in the taskbar of your phone when you pull it down as well or in the MySound app. So there's a lot of ways to check the battery status and it's super helpful for just making sure you know that they're gonna be charged when you hit the gym or whatever you're doing with them. It's not gonna be a problem. Then you can use these controls, you know, like any standard controls to either increase or decrease volume, skip track forward, skip back, 
play and pause music, take or end a call, and also you can hold in the center button for one second and that will activate Siri or Google Assistant and you can use those through the earphones as well. So with the AirPods actually, I was not able to get them to use Google Assistant at all. But with the Jaybird X3s, you can. So if you wanna use Siri, AirPods are gonna be fine. But if you wanna use Google Assistant, definitely the Jaybirds are gonna be a way to go as far as that goes. Or if you just want physical inline controls. So like I said, the Jaybird MySound app is pretty awesome. It allows you to go in there, you know, to pick a sound profile. You actually can pick ones that other people have picked and, and customize their own. There's ones from like professional athletes and that kind of stuff. Or you can even make your own sound profile as well. And you can actually save that to the headphones. So if you transfer to a different device, it can keep that sound profile as well. So the app's really cool. It has some other features like um, you can go into how-to guides and discover how to use the headphones. You can discover how to use either the over-the-ear fit, which is more of the sports type fit, or the under-the-ear fit, which is more of a standard casual fit. It'll walk you through that. You can go through all the uh, setup for that and it'll kind of guide you through that as well. If you want to provide any support, feedback, or if you want to go into just the settings, you can do all that from the app. They also have the ability to switch audio from left and right if you want to do that. And they have the ability to actually find your buds as well. So Apple AirPods have it as well through the Find My iPhone feature, but also Jaybirds have the ability to use GPS tracking to find out either where they currently are or where they last were when they were turned on. So what about taking calls in your headphones? Well. If you're using the Jaybird X3s, that will depend a lot on whether or not you're using the standard fit where you would uncoil this and have this module kind of hanging down in front of your face where the microphone is. In that case, they're gonna be pretty good for calls. However, if you wanna use the sport type of fit, this is gonna go behind the head. And in that case, the microphone's gonna be way behind your head to the side of your head. And it's not gonna be very good for microphone use. So you have to decide to yourself, you know, what kind of compromise do you want? Do you want that really secure and out of the way fit? Or are you gonna use it more of a casual manner and is talking important to you? Or you wanna have this kind of microphone hanging down in front of your face? Now in terms of calls, the AirPods are pretty impressive. So they have this like really silly stem thing that hangs down there and I don't really like that. It looks kind of stupid, but the good part is there's a microphone in there and they're really, really excellent at actually picking up sound. So I did talk in the AirPods you know, even in a, not a loud environment, but a semi-loud environment, and the people were able to hear me, you know, overall pretty well. So considering how small they are, and, you know, that little microphone that they have, these are really excellent for call quality, and I don't think anyone will have any problem with using them on a regular basis for calls. So what about waterproofing? Well, it's pretty simple. When it comes to the AirPods, they're not listed as having any official waterproof rating or being water resistant. Although I have heard reports of the AirPods being pretty well submerged or wet, and not really have any problems, the standard specs are that they're not waterproof. The Jaybird X3s, however, are rated for sport use and they're sweat proof and water resistant. Now, it doesn't mean you can submerge them in water, but you should be able to get them, you know, damp, uh, maybe even sprays of water without having any problems. It should be good to go. And I've used these for over six months myself and never had a problem. So what about gym use? Well, the Apple AirPods really surprised me, actually. I thought there's no way these things are going to stay in my ears, but I've heard people do use them in the gym. So... I actually use them at the gym. I use them for a lot of different kinds of workouts. I did treadmill running, I did box jumps, rowing, uh, stair climber, I did lying down bench press, I even did like a hanging back extension with these, uh, and even burpees. And not one time did the AirPods fall out of my ears. So that's kind of surprising for me. Um, now for you, depending on your anatomy and how you sit in your ears, they may fall out, but considering there's nothing really holding them in there, I was overall really, really impressed with how the AirPods stayed in my ears. When it comes to Jaybird X3s, obviously, you know, they're rated for that sport type of use. They're made for that. Um, and I think they're pretty secure overall in the normal configuration. And also, you know, with the ear tips here that are compressible, then it's gonna give you an excellent. So my preferred configuration for these is to use the compressible foam ear tips and also to use, you know, these wing tips here. They provide several pairs of silicone wing tips and they provide silicone ear tips and also these comply compressible phone tips as well. So you really can find your fit, it determines, you know, depends on whether or not you want to have more of a convenience of kind of popping them in and out. If you wanna do that, I'd say go for the silicone tips. However, if you wanna have, you know, the best fit and the best isolation, then definitely I recommend using the foam tips and I recommend going behind the ear. That really makes a difference so that the, they're able to sit above your ear right there and then they're gonna be super secure and I've done, any kind of workout I possibly can think of, you know, going, even right now, they're barely in my ears and I can go back and forth and they stay in really, really well from these ear tips. So definitely when it comes to sports type use, 
the Jaybird X3 is going to be the superior headphone. If you want really loud pounding music, uh, if you want really good security, then they're going to be the way to go. With the EarPods, they did work. Um, however, I just never felt entirely comfortable that they're actually going to stay in my ears. And it just felt kind of weird working out with them, especially if you're doing more dynamic type movements. So what about charging? Well, with the Apple AirPods, you have a lot of extra charges. So the really great thing is these can be used for up to 24 hours of use. Now, the standard use time for a single charge, if you're just gonna use them, you know, one time charge from the case is gonna be about five hours of use, depending upon how loud your headphones are and that kind of stuff. And you can get about two hours of talk time on a single charge. But when you pop them back into the case, you're gonna get several recharges of these headphones. And obviously it's super easy to just pop them right in the case, close it, you're gonna use them to carry the headphones anyway, and then you can get up to 24 hours of charge on the AirPods. So when it comes to battery and easy use, super easy. And when you need to charge the case again, you just pop the cable in the bottom and you can charge it up. It takes a couple hours, maybe about an hour actually, I've heard reports of, uh, for the AirPod case to charge. So definitely in terms of easy use, super easy to charge up the AirPods. Now with the Jaybird X3s, they're going to have this proprietary charging cable, which is okay, but it is definitely kind of annoying that you need this special cable to charge these. So you're gonna to need to plug it into this little wall adapter thing every time, and then plug it in. It's gonna take about two and a half hours to charge the X3s, and out of that you get about eight hours of battery use. So the overall time that you can use the Jaybird X3s is gonna be better than a single charge on the AirPods, but you do have to use a special cable and obviously you can't just pop them into a case and throw them in your pocket and use them that way. You need to have some kind of a battery bank or a wall charger to be able to charge the X3s in that way. So I'd say definitely the AirPods win in terms of charging and convenience. So also the Apple AirPods have this quick charge feature. Well, if you plug them into the case, let them there for 15 minutes, you're gonna get three hours of playback time. So that's a pretty huge advantage when it comes to the AirPods. The Jaybird X3s also have a quick charge feature. If you plug into the wall for 20 minutes, you'll get an hour of playback out of the Jaybird X3s, but obviously that's gonna be a lot less than you would get with the AirPods, and it's gonna take a little bit longer as well. So who are each of these headphones best for? Well, it's probably pretty obvious at this point, but the Apple AirPods are gonna be best for the person who just wants that really simple ease of use. You just wanna carry around this small case, even though it looks kinda of like dental floss. You wanna be able to pop them in your ears, pop them back in, have them charge in the case. They last for a long time, and they're just gonna be really convenient to use, especially with an iPhone. However, they're not gonna be as good for sports type of use. They're not gonna have as good of isolation and that kind of stuff. So if you do want that, then you're gonna to wanna to go with the Jaybird X3s. If you want that better water resistance, you really care about the audio quality, and you want to be able to alter the sound profile of the headphones, uh, you just really want that very quality, premium feel when it comes to the sound and the sports performance, then definitely I'd say go with the Jaybird X3s in that way. These are my preferred workout headphones, and I wouldn't say that I would use the AirPods on a regular basis for working out. They just don't feel that secure to me. However, if I could have both of these, the AirPods for more casual use and the Jaybird X3s to use in the gym or more athletic type stuff, I would say definitely that's the way to go. So, I hope you guys did learn something. If you have any questions, please write me in the comments below. Please like this video, it helps out the channel. Please check out the links below as well, it helps support the channel. And um, I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.